What's good? It's your girl Tang Gang Baby along with Got your girl Jess on the block. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh this our first podcast. Yes. We got our boy light skin Bobby in the building. What it do, bro? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Nothing much. We uh got you here today. Yeah. Been following you on Instagram. See you got some new singles coming up. See you popping in the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to get you up in here. Mm-hmm. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, I'm straight out of Zone Six. Um, been in Atlanta pretty much my whole life. I ain't no Grady baby, but you know, Georgia Baptist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, been doing music pretty much my whole life. Talent shows, uh, winning those. Started being in the group probably like. 2008 or something like that. Then I went back solo. After that, didn't work out. Um, and now we just doing that. You know, the evolution of from Brian FMG to Light Skin Bobby, and everybody love Light Skin Bobby. So that's what we <laughs> that's what we on right now. And we got a new album on the way called Last of a Dying Breed. But okay. uh, y'all can go check out. You know, the self titled Light Skin Bobby worldwide. It's on every platform right now, everywhere. So. Y'all can go check those out. We got the visuals out. Plenty of videos for y'all to go check out. Okay. Um, yeah. When's your birthday? It's coming up. I'll be 30. February 8th. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Big 3 March the 12th. Yeah. That's what's Clean. up. That's what's up. Little party is on 6. Well, you know, I stay everywhere in Zone 6. When I first moved, I was staying um, on Memorial Drive in these apartments called Emma Ridge. Okay. And we moved up to Hambrick. Then we moved to st- over there by Stevenson High School, South Deshawn Road, um, River Road, Boulder Crest. Everywhere. Oh. Much everywhere. <laughs> so yeah. how just was, uh, you know, growing up on the east side, how was that? Was music an outlet? Like, did that everybody, happen? everybody wanted to do music, but everybody wasn't good at it. So you got to, <laughs> you got to get in fights with the people that you tell their music is bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you just fighting just because that's just what we like to do. And then, you know, you got sports. I was really, like, into basketball until I tore my ACL. So it's kind of like once you do that, it's kind of like what you going to do? You going to do your hobby or you going to do what you on earth to do? And I, I just decided to do music full out. I uh, stopped working a regular 9 to 5 and just really, like, just stayed on the music and it, it paid off. So when did you just be like, this for me, like, I'm about to do music. Or when yeah. did you hit your first note and be like, dang, okay, that sound good? Um, <laughs> probably like two years old. Two? Okay. Oh, um, man. Oh, you got a good I used to know all the, I used to know all the songs on the radio and didn't even know how I knew them. Just, <laughs> it come on, I sang the words, and everybody was like, how he know that at two years at old? At two? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the mama <laughs> must knew she had one then, huh? Yeah, she knew. She knew, but really my cousins was really like my older cousins. They like six years older than me. They used to put me on like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on in in the entertainment world? And then I I started just picking it up. I started writing my own music at like eight years old type shit. Damn. So, mm-hmm. so tell us about the talent shows. When did you have your first talent show? How'd it go? Mm, my first talent show. I really I like I had so many talent shows. The only only ones I really remember are the ones I won. <laughs> but uh, nah, I did Apollo when I was seven years old. Oh, Damn, so you got any clips we got? Could... Somebody in America got. Somebody it. got. <laughs> you know, you know, it was VHS. Yeah, the you know yeah, like, nineties. Like, like, I don't know where the hell that shit is. It's in somebody's storage. It's somebody's living room because it got passed on. No they weren't making copies of it, and like everybody keep a copy. It's like one copy passed on through the whole. That was like. A trophy for, for cause we used to stay in Columbia, South Carolina, so that was like a trophy out there. Yeah. yeah. So um, moving forward with everything that's going on, you know what I'm saying? What 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 kind of crowd is your music touching on? Like uh, as far as the music industry, you know, you got rap, you got hip hop, you got R and B, you got uh, the Drake thing where you rap and sing. Like <laughs> what, what where you where what? Man, we doing the light. We doing we doing the light skin Bobby way. We, we doing the light skin Bobby way. We ain't even naming nobody else because it's not no like nobody else. Okay. I mean, I'm a naturally an R and B singer, but I have fused them together to make something totally different. It's the light skin Bobby way. If it's not nothing else, it's not you're not gonna cut me on and be like, oh, he sound like anybody because I don't. 
That's and, what's and up. That's, and when I go to the club, that's what I really hear. Like, I be hearing shit slap in the club, mm -hmm. but they sound like somebody else. And that is only going to hurt them. Because if it's something already winning in that wave that you trying to get in, it's, you're not going to go nowhere with it. It's just going to be another hard song. You don't want to be just another hard song. You want to be so a brand. You want it's timeless music. Exactly. You, okay. You want you want a brand. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the club, even even if they don't play my song, they say my name and everybody know me. So that mm -hmm. that's just that's just what it's about. It's about having a movement. You know what I'm saying? That, anybody that in, transcends way past music. Anybody in particular that you're trying to touch as far as the music wise, like you know anything? Any like, I you you got your R and B. Talking about far as motivation. Yeah, like anything. Anybody you trying to touch? I mean, or? I I do it for all the people that said I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it and hate it all my life, honestly. But, I mean, for the people out there that my fan base, I, I reach all kind of people. Like, I mm -hmm. mean, like, my fan base in Florida is ridiculous, you know. And um, just, we just expanding throughout everywhere right now. You know, we got Vegas, we got New York, we got, um, shit, even Mississippi. Like, we got a lot of places that we finna go to that just, they just want to see me. So, I feel like it's just people that's taking that 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 road of you know the underdog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I'm I'm doing it for the underdogs, the people that you know people overlook, and then when they pop in, be like, I've been knowing him type yeah. shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's that's my fan base, the underdogs. Is your music for women, men, both, younger crowd, the I, older crowd? You know, what you, you know, I on? do I do it for the ladies, like for real, for real, because the men gonna follow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The women twerking to it, they dancing in the mirror to it. The nigga got no choice but to catch on and, and pay attention or he going to get left behind. Okay. That's just what it is. Women buy records. Dudes don't. Yeah. yeah. Just, so, you know, I just, I try to keep it, keep it played at the same time with it. And just, just, just do what, what, what comes natural to me, honestly. So what made you be like, all right, I'm gonna stick with light skin Bobby as my name? Where you get? Where you get it, light skin Bobby? Because it, it, it was, because it was, because it was the AKA. You know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. like a, a, a alter ego. Like when I go on stage, that's light skin Bobby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I was like, shit, I might as well just keep it like that because it roll off the tongue easier. Is the branding wise is 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 better. You know what I'm saying? And then like. Everybody was calling me that, like literally, <laughs> literally. Like I don't even get called my government no more. It's Bobby this, Bobby that. So it's like, just go with it. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a walk of life type thing. Like when, once you step into those shoes, and and you take that responsibility, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's more of a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's your life. Like you gotta really be that person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta also, you know, be able to separate reality from you know just entertainment and that's what i know how to do so you gotta you gotta keep your sanity at, at the end of the day at the same time so light skin bobby was my alter ego to answer the question and it just became a walk of life like branding wise like, Shame you. yeah it just it, it happened it happened like over a course of five years now See, my name is Lanice, right. and I don't feel like a Lanice. You know what I'm saying? Right, so you got to find... Yeah, so find, I found that, that yeah. Tang Gang Baby. So yeah. yeah. A lot of people say, how you get Tang Gang Baby? So I, I, I go into detail, because really, like, from birth, everybody been calling me Woo. I don't know where my mom got that from, but I was Woo till the, since birth. So as I grew up, I found out, damn, Woo was Wu-Tang. Right. Yeah, Wu-Tang. Wu Wu so right. I went back... Wu Tang for a while. Then I said, "Damn, I start having kids." I said, "I got a gang now, Tang Gang." <laughs> All right, so I put my head. I was just Tang Gang. Okay. And uh, the Instagram made me baby. You know what I'm saying? So Tang Gang baby, man, it's, it's a formula to that. So I understand where like how you could get, you could go from your original and and kind of create your Cause, own. Yeah, because Breon FPMG, that's my government and then my label put together. So FPMG stands for. Forbidden Pleasant Music Group. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it just, when you in the club, you don't want to be explaining yourself too much, <laughs> man. Fuck that. Light Skin Bobby's in this motherfucker. You already know the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it just rolls off the tongue easy. 
You don't gotta explain it, and if you do explain it, shit, it's way more easier than oh, this my label, this my yeah, 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 the whole nine. Yeah, it's, it's it's all about perception, honestly. So knowing that you're an independent artist right now, are you signed to anybody? And if you are, who? And if you're not, who? Or are you looking? I'm to? signed to myself. I'm saying. I'm signed. To my, I mean, we we, we had a dis- distribution deal with Sony. Um, we signed back in 2017, um, but. Right now we just we just strictly forbidden pleasure music group. Shout out to Rap Snacks though. That's my team. You know what I'm saying? The designer of Rap Snacks. He does all my all my graphics, my clothing line, you know, my album covers, everything. Oh digital. You know, that's that's pop, King Pop so, to be exact. Um, you gonna give you gonna hook me and Jess up with some some gear next time we get on live and, and go. Nah, on. I got you. I just need your sizes. All right, we need okay. we gonna get some merch. Yeah, yeah. lightskinbobby dot com. We 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 about thirty days until we uh pull it back up. We had to take it down so we can you know make the minor adjustments and get everything on there how we wanted it. But yeah, lightskinbobby dot com will be coming back soon and all the merch will be on there and um. For now, just hit my my DM if you want some merch. Um, we got the the winter collection right now, you know. Okay. So, like I said, just give me your sizes and we'll we'll get it to you ASAP. Okay. Sound yeah, like a bet. Forbidden yeah. fruit, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's one of my songs too, for real. Yeah, we gonna get uh, yeah. before before this is all over. We gonna definitely get a little bit of that playlist. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh-huh. Costa Rica undercover freak. Y'all y'all get in tune with me. Uh, a little bit of that. That sounded good. Yeah, yeah we did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, is there any artist you just you want to work with, or you be like, dang? Like, I, I mean, work with him. I mean, like, like when it comes to male artists, I mean, I just feel like if it come, if it happens organically, I'm cool with it. I feel like the industry is so feature driven right now. It's just like, oh, you can't get on without a feature, which is a lie. You just gotta have be talented and have the right support backing behind you. Honestly, it's, mm-hmm. it's yeah. all about that money. Honestly, you know what I'm saying. A feature is just investing into somebody to push you up. But I feel like when you do a feature, you should be at least already striving. So when you get that feature, it compliments you and don't take away from your brand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I always encourage people to build your own brand. And if you're gonna spend that money on a feature, make sure you spent that same amount of money into your brand first because that's what's important. This shit ain't free. Ain't nothing free in life. Like no, you got, it's not. You got to invest in yourself yeah. if you want to become this artist that you see yourself as. If you envision yourself as a big-time artist, you got to live your life like you a big-time, big-time artist. artist. And it takes yep. big-time money. Yeah. I made, I made my <laughs> label in, like, 2014. I was still working a regular job at the time, but I took my little money and slowly but surely... Built my team and we we we, we all winning. Here. We all winning. Right we now. in here. That's what's up, man. Light skin Bobby, man. I can see you doing some big things. What's what's them what's them five year goals looking like? I'm gonna have a couple artists signed to my label. Okay. Um, the couple artists I had signed before, it didn't. It just didn't work out. It's cool, you know. It's mm-hmm. life. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a couple artists under my belt. Um. I got a TV show coming out pretty soon that I'm, I'm, I'm about to start shooting. So I'm going to be in television and film, of course. Um, of course, I'm going to go, once the TV show hit, and, and doing the walkthroughs and getting, getting all that kind of money Talk like that. Talk about black man. We're going to take, we're gonna take <laughs> that money. We're going to take that money and put it back into the company. And, and like I said, we're going to do television, films, uh, fashion, just everything that my brand can get touched with, you know, and just keep these blessings coming in. Five years ago, you know, maybe have some kids. <laughs> oh, you, ain't, you, you ain't got no kids? Blessings. Nah, not yet. Oh, yeah. No kids hey, yet. Look, let me say, it's a blessing to have children, but it's a blessing to take your time, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I I was fortunate enough to be able to have children. That's first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? But I, I took a little overboard, Bobby. <laughs> I, I took it overboard. Well, and I, got, I got five. I knew you was going to say five. I got five. I knew you was going to say five. Hey, I don't know man. how, but I knew you was going to say five. Because you kept saying gang and Wu-Tang. Yeah, yeah and that's and a and gang. That's a real group. You got a real group. <laughs> a real I do. I do. Mm, Shout out to my beautiful babies. Yeah. 
my the oldest woo, daughter. The woo five. The woo five. My oldest daughter keep me motivated. She been telling me all last year that I'm about to hop into this million. She keep me motivated, keep me going. So that's the blessing to have. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when you fortunate the, the, enough you to got be able you to, you built your own support system. Yeah, I did, man, and that's why I'm taking off this this year. Like I said, you the first of the podcast. Shout out to Light Skin Bobby, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Reached out to him. He gave me an opportunity and a chance. You know what I'm saying? You got some big things coming, and with with your platform about to take off, just you on here. You know what I'm saying? You bless you bless my first day. It's all it's all about it's all about building relationships with me. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Like, I don't I don't never shit on nobody because you just never know what opportunity you you miss out on. Like like when you called me this morning, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I probably got home probably like four in the morning. But it's like <laughs> this 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 life we live is like. You got to be ready. You got to be prepared. Even if yeah. emergencies come. And you, yeah. You just got to make, you got to roll with the punches. That's what they always told me. And that's what I do. Hey, man, this is definitely <laughs> going to pay off, man. Hey, we, we, we on our first set out of sets. Right. And you the first yes. one to bless the set. Like that's a that yeah. light skin Bobby. And, and I want y'all to know that you know everything we do is legendary. So y'all y'all know. Yeah, man. Y'all know y'all know that the first one is you know the first of many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come back <laughs> and we are gonna do it even bigger and, and talk you. about this album. I'm you know telling you. <laughs> what other questions you got for light skin Bobby? Uh, Jess on the block. Oh, you gonna hit me? Okay, let's do <laughs> some random questions. Okay. Okay. For your supporters, your fans, you know everybody might even just want to hear something. So what's your what's your favorite color? Favorite uh, color? You would think my favorite color is like red or something, but it's really navy blue. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> that opposite of what you got. Yeah, on. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I always wear black. I always wear red. Anybody know me? I, I get people that's in GD always calling me, texting me like, "You a GD?" Oh, that shit. You know, yeah. I'm like, nah. I just like black. You did. Like I really like black, but yeah, black, red, um. Gray. I mean, I look good in a lot of shit, but <laughs> navy blue is naturally Lights my favorite Bobby. color. Yeah. Yeah, okay, What's your favorite meal, man? What, what, what the lady got to yeah. cook for you for you to be satisfied? Right now, I'm trying to get on this healthy wave, so I'm trying to stick to the salmon. Salmon? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, I like chicken, of course. I'm a ch chicken connoisseur. Like, I love grilled <laughs> chicken, rotisserie chicken. Just, just chicken. Just chicken, chicken. period. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, know when I went out, man, I, what? On what's the chapel? <laughs> Oh you know man, you gotta get the frozen lemonade. Yeah, with the man. Blue, all the strawberries. With, with, with the blue raspberries. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tie dye syrup, syrup in it. Yeah. Most definitely. That's some real east side shit. Don't go to the one on Callum. They tried to put some lemon pepper on my um, wings. Mm mm. Mm mm. You gotta have that crack sauce on it. That yeah. Crack sauce. You, you ain't got the white it. crack. Yeah, it ain't what even it worth going. If you ain't putting the white crack on they my chicken. They tried to substitute the crack right? for the lemon. Purple. No. I said, I said no. I'm never going to Kendall Road again for no damn JJ. Kendall Road, we sorry, but you just been cut, GG. And they told me on the phone like I was gonna be okay with it. Like they told a hundred other people and they was cool with it. Like, nah, I'm no. not cool with it. I'm cool. I, I would be cool with that. I go, I go right to Western Chapel. It's only an exit up. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah, right down the street. Uh, like yeah. literally, ten mm -hmm. minutes away type shit. Um. So would you rather smoke, drink? What you do? Both, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not that much of a drinker. When I drink, I be lit. Like, but I'm a casual, uh, social drinker. But yeah, smoking is a way of life. Yeah, it's definitely a way of life. I didn't smoke on the way here because we thought we was gonna be able to smoke in the uh, interview. But uh, we probably just smoke on the way to yeah. the crib, get some yeah. food. Yeah. You know. I got two events tonight, so I'm probably gonna be high as hell pretty much the whole day. What them events at tonight? Oh, yeah. uh, we had um. On Edgewood, a uh, circle cafe, a circle. And we got a place called Past the Ox. I mean, an event called Past the Ox with uh, Everyday Sunny. Uh, that's my yeah. dog. He got me booked in Ohio a couple times. We we probably gonna go back to Ohio and do some shows. I'm Ohio love me too. I ain't even mentioned them in my 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 fan base, but yeah, they they definitely love me in Ohio, Ohio? Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, showing you love. That's yeah, what's up. I got people in Ohio. You got yeah. all these states. We need a tour. Yeah, yeah. that's what we working on. We working on get that money right, man. We ain't doing no free tours, man. <laughs> I don't blame you. We ain't got bills to pay in 2020 for real. So yeah, get that paper right. We'll be. 
in a town near you. But like yeah, we at we at we at we at uh Circle Cafe tonight on Edgewood first. Then we at two chain spot for members only. So you know, okay. back to back with it. Yeah. Damn, you know boy, yeah, like. You doing your thing. Yeah. You man. doing your damn thing. I stay brother. booked. Stay booked and busy. That's what's up. Yeah. For yeah. real. For real. Love hearing it because he, I'm, I'm still can't get over that he, he didn't sign himself. I was just talking about that yesterday. Yeah. Man, that's so important. Because that's exact. That is so important. It's, it's called the music busy. business for a reason. Exactly. You got to know the business. Don't put yourself out there looking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta if, you look, if you look desperate, they're going to give you a desperate contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You find yourself I like crazy. that. You put the work in and they, they acknowledge the work you've been putting in and they got to give you the right money when, when, yeah. when it's time to negotiate. Come, you just got to know your wealth. You gotta know your worth for the yes. wealth. You know yes. what I'm saying? And That's if you're doing it for the mu if you're doing it for the money, it's not gonna work anyway. I like that. I read that. Yeah. I read books now. I used to read books. Now that I came to school, I read books and a book told me that. So if you're in it for the money, you might well go back to the crib. You there gotta you. be in it for the love. It's mm -hmm. gonna make it's gonna make it's gonna make the money. You yeah, know what the I'm love, the love that you put in, mm -hmm. the passion that you have for your craft is gonna make the money. And, and and if you really love something, you don't care if you make money off of it anyway because you love it. It's like you breathe air to do this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just a, a way of life for me. Like, that's just music is, that's all I remember doing. Like, even when I had a regular job, like, it was like, why are you working? Why are you working? I'm too talented working? to be working here. Yeah. I was a garbage yeah. man in 2014. Like, well, the hustle's a yeah, hustle. You know? they, they they didn't understand it. Like they been working here fifteen, twenty years, they ain't never seen nothing like me. So they just like, bro, how you working so hard but you so talented? Like I'm like, man, I just I, I moved out of my mama's house and I ain't wanna go back. That's why. You know, yeah. I got bills. So yeah, until the music kick off, <laughs> this is where I'm at. And then I told my ACL, I looked at that as a sign the guy said, Look, Go ahead. <laughs> go all the way in with the music. It's a lot of signs that been out here. Man, what? So where you be uh, recording? You got anything at home, like a little studio setup? Or well, you, like, well, me and my engineer, we've been locked in since 2016. Um, we were off Shallowford, uh, right off Shallowford, right right there. But we just built our own studio um, close to the north side drive area, close to, you know, where uh, Patchworth and stuff like that, right around the corner yeah, yeah. Of there. Mm, we right, right there, right there. I was supposed to go there last night, but... Nah. What were, <laughs> man, boy, where you was at last night, man? Man, yeah, last, man <laughs> last night I was recovering from the night before because I had a, a event. What, what we was at the other night? Um, Ace of Clubs. Shout out to Streets Nine Four Point Five. They you put me on. They them. put. They put me right on. They put. Me, <laughs> they put me right on the home page with one my brother, uh, Lil Bankhead. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what's up. We got some shit on the way. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the whole now Streets 945. You heard, you heard you that did. first. You did. When I'm Shout saying. out the Streets 945, man. We making money this year. Yeah. I just got put on, but yeah. I, ain't, I, we working. That's yeah. all I got to say. Yeah, it's, it's constant grind. Yeah, constant, <laughs> constant grind. That's all I can That's say. That's what's up, man. We got a lot of shit coming too. Um, I want to speak about Odyssey Lounge. Uh, I'm doing my hosting out there. I got a couple edits coming on tonight, so stay tuned for that. Um, we making movies out there, man. Real audio media, real audio media, they ain't ready, man. Okay. They ain't ready. They ain't, they're not ready mm -hmm. <laughs> for what we got going on, man. We coming on, on strong, and anytime it's love, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. we got some birthday sections, okay, we got some VIP sections, and yeah. then you know, after the show, after this little thing, we could definitely talk about how we could get some shit popping, right? And how we could get some. Yeah, you know how we get some complimentary bottles for light skin right, Bobby. Right, right. You know let's, what I'm saying? Let's, let's make it make sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's make it make sense. I'm telling them, I'm telling the promoters this year, like we ain't coming through just to come through no more. No, we making movies. We making movies. Yeah. We definitely making movies. Gotta um, know your worth. You do. Definitely. Health is wealth too. Definitely. I see you on that healthy stuff. I, I gotta get on my healthy man, shit. Man, my trainer, man, he 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 dope. Blame fit on IG, man. Shots out to him. He, he, uh, uh, train the whole cast to power, so that really motivated me to like, damn, if I can look like them niggas on power, then you know, <laughs> I'm gonna walk in the room, it's gonna be different, you know. All right, James St. Patrick, yeah, <laughs> you know, Rotini, <laughs> you know, light skin Bobby, <laughs> you, like you know, put me in a conversation. <laughs> That's you know what's what I'm up. Saying? 
deficit weight, you know. I'm trying to gain weight. No, well, look, look, I'm look, trying look, to count look. how many more calories I can get. Look, but it's a balance, you know. You gain weight and tone in at the same time, cause that's what I did. I was skinny, and then people see me now, like, but you don't. Yeah, I'm gonna I'd be like, like well, you know, I just had to, you know, put some weight on. Some weight women, on. women don't want no skinny <laughs> men. Women want a man that no. can pick them up and put them on their shoulders type uh, shit. All right, now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Gotta keep them warm. Yeah. That's all right. That's some heat in that bed. You, you can't pick her up, man. Ain't, yeah. ain't, ain't yeah. no conversation. I don't want it. Right. Hey. That's what's up, man. Mm-hmm. You know, going into your 30s, you want to be a grown man with it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Shit, I done had the little 20 year olds. I want to pick 30 year olds down. <laughs> Grown man. <laughs> nah, you when, say, grown, when they you, say grown ass, yeah, man. Yeah, man. The next question that I got for you, we want to talk about the album a little bit more. Okay. All right, so we, we got this album, and what's what's the difference between this album and the last album that you put out? Well, the last album. And what was it called for the people who might not know? The last album came out in August of 2019. It was called Worldwide. It was a collab project, like the best of both worlds, what R. Kelly and Jay Z did back in the day. Uh huh. So, you know, I had an artist I was finna sign, um, Ninja Berto. Um, and we decided to do that because we did a song called Worldwide. It was a song originally. Mm-hmm. And um, it was so dope. You know what I'm saying? It was my song by myself originally, and I put him on as a feature. You know, we were talking about features or whatever. And um, he killed the feature. So, you know, I'm the type of artist, like, if, if I see and I like your work, I'm going to say, let's keep working. So, you know, we just kept working. The next thing I know, we had 100 songs to pick out of. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. out of that 100, <laughs> we picked 20, you know? And I felt like that's a lot of songs, but for two artists, it's, it's, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we, we put DJ Cutthroat on there, we put DJ Hollywood on there, and um, the, the rest is history, like, it's out, you know what I'm saying? We, we put four videos out from the um, album, we got uh, Get Lit, had like a yacht mansion. I seen that one, you know I and, seen like, that one. <laughs> yeah, I definitely peeped that video. You dig what I'm saying? Um, we did uh, Maybelline, we did Worldwide, and then the last song we did off the album we shot in Miami uh charging for the drip it was my brother on the hook uh, first time he ever did a video like I'm about whatever you know whatever the vibe is like I turn on nobody into somebody <laughs> real quick yeah you know <laughs> got that like, effect my family is just so entertainment driven that <laughs> I could turn anybody into the star you just gotta have that opportunity and I put my told my brother get in there and he got in there and he did a great job um so yeah Worldwide was that, you know, collaboration um, type of element. And Last of a Dying Breed is totally different. It's totally light-skinned Bobby. It's totally for the people. And it's just to tell my story and how, like, they don't make them like me no more. You know what I'm saying? It's so much cap and people rap, R&B ain't the same. It's just, like, it's time for somebody to to, to be themselves and, and, and keep the elements of what's hot quote-unquote, at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we got production from um, Only TD, Only One TD on IG, if y'all mm-hmm. want to check my producers out. I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna crab on the on the producers. I, I'm, I want them to get some more, like Jungle Boy Beats, he uh, produces for Lil' Kim, he on Lil' Kim album. Uh, no Auto by Lil' Dirk, he produced that. G Herbo, uh, Young Kim May, list go on and on. Um, so a lot of a lot of production from the two guys. And then D Fresh is like I said, we've been in the lab since twenty sixteen. So those three producers are uh pr- predominantly on this project, Last of a Dying Breed. Um I'm still in the process of cutting some songs down because we, we, we knocked it down to fifteen songs as of today. But by the time it comes out and reach you guys, it might be twelve, it might be ten. So Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely done. We we just gotta, you know, get the uh, album art to you guys, and uh, we shooting the, the first video, Costa Rica, the first single off Last Double Dying Breed in like two or three weeks. Okay, that's what's mm-hmm. up. You know what I want to know? What get you? What What do you need to get yourself in that mood to make your music, do your work? I mean, I'm naturally like this this way, but I love. I love, like, just good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feed off people energy. Like, 
before before I got in a, a situation or whatever, I was call the chicks over and you're like, hey yeah, man, we finna throw a party at the studio. <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. (laughs) This little situation everybody be talking about. I I don't know if I like that word. Yeah, yeah, right? I don't know. That's the vibe, though. Yeah. Like, you gotta. I feel like in order to make the music that people dance to, it got to be all the right elements in the room because you're going to feed off that energy that mm. people give you. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the producer, y'all got one relationship. Mm-hmm. But then whoever you invite, they bring a whole nother element to who you are as an artist because I don't write my lyrics down on paper. Out of doing this 20-some years, you know what I'm saying, like I don't, I can, as soon as I hear the beat, I can visualize what I'm going to say on it. And then exactly. harmonies and all that come with it. You know wow, what that's, so, what's up. that's what's up. So I, 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 if you want to say punch in or yeah. you know what I'm saying, I, I, I basically is it get is it easier? Is it? I mean, is it difficult to perform not knowing that you wrote it down or it just you just remember it or what? I mean, I mean you created it, so before you perform it, I feel like you should at least have a thousand <laughs> hours of listening to it. Yeah, you, okay, like, all right. <laughs> Hey. I, know, I know some niggas that will record a song and be like, yeah, I just recorded this last night. Get on stage and know majority of the words. And when they come to that one part, they really didn't know. Looking crazy as hell. And I'm like, bro, you, you expected this, right? Yeah. It was that hard that you had to leave from the studio and bring it to the club, bro. You could have, you know what I'm saying, really perfected your craft and then hit the stage. Because it's not about the hard song when you're performing. Mm-hmm. It's about having a dope-ass performance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what's going to keep you booked every week. Mm-hmm. They be like, oh, I know if I put Light Skin Bobby on the show, he's going to kill it by getting a microphone in his hand. Yeah. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Hype. You could be an artist, and then you could be an entertainer. I'm an entertainer. I like entertainers. You yeah. Know what I'm they give you more for your buck. You can't put me <laughs> in no box, because I'm singing, I'm rapping, I'm doing me at any time. I can... I might dance, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it just, it's just how I'm feeling. Like, might I might get jiggy for him real yeah, quick. Yeah, I might. I, it, all, it all depends on the vibe yeah. and the energy in the room. So, like, you got to give them everything. You got to damn near give them all of you. You know right what I'm saying? That. Before they can feel like they know you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sound I like you. Tune with the people. Sound like you done put your 10,000 hours in, man. Man, what? More than 10,000. More than 10,000. I'm talking about 20, 20 what? <laughs> I was two years old when I started. I'm about 28 years in, in this shit. Yeah, in this shit. So we want to say officially 10 years in, 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 in the professionalism of, of it. You know what I'm saying? So That's what's up. Have you been out the country? Yeah, man. We, we went to Costa Rica in November. Yeah? Yeah. So, you know, we, we don't been to Costa Rica. We don't been to Puerto Rico. We don't been to Dominican Republic. We don't been to Jamaica, the Bahamas. You know, we got Japan on the on the uh, schedule for this year. Um, Thailand, we got we got some shit coming. So I, I'm a type of person like I I'm into speaking into existence, but sometimes I feel like if you speak it too early, it block your blessings. So I yeah, I just keep it like that, you <laughs> keep, know it know keep it low. Yeah, but we, we definitely got them passport stamp. Okay. Good. I gotta get my shit right, man. You, you gotta, gotta take gotta a trip out of the country. Yeah. Yeah. Ours is coming. We yeah, out we there. Gotta, we going to Costa Rica. Like, like when that money really start coming in, I say two times a year, but at least two times. But once mandatory. Once mandatory. Because it, it gives you a, a sense of you know how others are living, and and then you vacating, and then it gets your mind right. So when you come back, mm-hmm. whatever grind, whatever hustle you got. It, it's ten times more when you get back because you want to get back mm-hmm. to traveling again. Yeah, I'm sure that help you I'll, be creative with your yeah, music exactly. too. Exactly, I'm not in like I'm you not ain't in one space. I'm yeah, in other stuff. Yeah, exactly, and I'm not just saying shit. I'm you living, living it. it. Yeah. You're living it. Exactly. So, what's so, your favorite song on the album? Um, man, I ain't gonna lie. I got this song called "Little Baby" on there. <laughs> Little baby. Little baby. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Like it's so hard. I don't even understand how I made that off the top. Like literally, the beat came on, put put me in there. That's like, and that's why it's my favorite because I I literally went in the studio, heard a beat, and didn't even let him play the beat fully. I just oh, told him like... put me in there. Coach. Yeah. Finished the song in like ten minutes. Okay. 
Dang. I gotta hear this. I gotta hear yeah. that. I gotta, I gotta do my yeah. homework now. For real, I gotta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna email it to you. You know, you yeah, get, I wanna you get hear that. Exclusive. It's called Little Baby. Um, okay. That's one of my favorites on there. But it's like I said, it's it's filled with R and B vibes. It's filled with party vibes and filled with pain and just tell my story. Like from the from the first track all the way to the last track, you gon' you gonna feel like you came into Light Skin Bobby World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where I like yeah, to go I to. When I pop in a tape, pop in an album, listen to an album, I want to know who you are as a person. And the best way to figure that mm-hmm. out is through music. You know what I'm saying? And this is since the beginning of time. Music is a is a strong way to communicate. You know what I mean? And it really can dictate the world that you in, period. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, And words are so powerful. Exactly. You, 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 when, when you speak. You speaking stuff into existence, you know exactly. what I'm saying? And uh, just listening, like, way back when I'm, I go back to Tupac and Biggie, how they spoke death on themselves, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. They spoke it on yeah, themselves. They, 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 they predicted their own, their own weight, as you could say. So, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah, with the music-wise, whatever you, you into, whatever, however you go, go about it. You know what I'm saying? Not just for yourself, but knowing that other people listening, too. And exactly. you know what I'm saying? Mary J, if you was depressed, turn on Mary J. She gonna, yeah, you know what I'm saying? She gonna, she gonna, she gonna, she gonna put you in that, yeah, the, the, the mood music. Yeah. How you packing all your bags and leaving? Get me alone. <laughs> I'm leaving. But uh, yeah, man, that's what's up, Bobby. Man, I, I I feel like you know what I'm saying. Just from this interview, a lot of people going to want to go back and see what what, what light skin Bobby doing. Where 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 is mm-hmm. head at? Where, we want to know. We want to know more. You know what I'm saying? Keep... I mean, on the outside looking in, I feel like a lot of people just feel like I'm the ladies' man because I got. I like, mean, just so many oh, yeah, listen, okay, listen, listen, listen. From the Instagram, <laughs> sir, yeah. we would it, think it, it, it's it, all about be this. Lit, but I mean, I just feel like women. Women sell music, so keep them around. It's going to be Most gonna definitely. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that niche. You know, I knew from the beginning of my <laughs> life that women were very important. <laughs> VIP, very women. important people. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you look, you want to take it to the top, you got to acknowledge the Nubian queens out here in the world. Like, so I, I treat every woman as a queen. I mean, it get me in trouble a lot of times. But, but hey, I, let me tell you. I'm, I'm treating women as they should be treated. I'm not disrespecting women. I'm definitely acknowledging your beauty, you know, your intelligence. And everything you got to come with yourself. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I appreciate women elevating in all aspects of life. Mm-hmm. You know? That's and and, and with, with doing that, I feel like it, it not only, you know, transitions into my music, but people can get a feel for me and know that I appreciate women a lot. So that's why I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I was gonna right. say, let me. We 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 going and we transitioning with these new videos. It's gonna be some women. In there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, we gonna we gonna do some more like theatrical, yeah, videos on this album, just so we can tell up, uh, paint the picture, tell the story a little different ways. Um, even use some actor and actresses. You know what I'm saying? So we we got some dope concepts, dope ideas that's gonna be a part of this project and I just want y'all to bring come into my world last of a dime breed you know I got that shit tatted on me you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. so it's official it's, it's definitely real it's official it's definitely Def- real. <laughs> stay tuned man official date gonna be real soon but we dropping this single dropping the uh, album uh, cover real soon so y'all, y'all just stay tuned too well y'all heard it first man we with Light Skin Bobby man it was an honor for you to come sit in with us we really do appreciate it um Anything that we got going on or you got going on, we're going to keep, keep linked up. We're going to try to stay tuned, you know? I'm ready. I'm excited to see everything, for real. So, And our apparel we're supposed to be getting. Oh, yeah. No, you oh, know. Yeah. Don't forget. Uh, okay, you know, we're trying to be. It's, it's, okay. it's, 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 it's lit. It's definitely lit. Definitely, definitely excited. Like they sizes, and we're going to get it to him ASAP. ASAP. Yeah, ASAP. We're ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big shout out to Light Skin Bobby for yeah. coming. coming. He Like bro. he said, we, we got way more interviews with him. He just blessed the studio, man. Blessings yeah. up. Yeah. It is. Not the last. So hey, you already know what it is. It's what's real. Mm-hmm. And you know we gon' get you right. What? And you know we gon' get you right.
Twist Real.